Steve, firstly, many congratulations on a very important win. That felt like a massive second half, bearing in mind we were behind at, the, uh, at half time, and we know how good the Met Police defence can be. Yeah, no, they're very good, very well organised by Jim. Um, they put every ounce of effort in for Jim. Um, I was just disappointed that we had majority of the play in the first half, and they've had one flash header and reacted to the second ball quicker than us, which maybe have been a penalty, even if they haven't put in the net. And they've gone one up. Um, frustrating, and at half time they got told that because we didn't play that bad. And I've got to allude to it, Jim. We haven't played bad in in the last three games. Well, we've lost three and drawn one out the last four, excluding today. And we haven't played bad. And I've looked over it. We just haven't been clinical enough. Um, and that's not just on the forwards. It's all over. It's, it's set pieces. It's midfielders, wide players. We haven't scored enough goals, um, but we've had plenty of chances. If we wasn't creating chances, I'd be more worried. Um, and the same as today, you know, we had chances today. Um, first half didn't work. Second half, they come out and I give them credit for the 25 minutes of the start of the second half where they got the two goals. And then after that, I've just had a little go at them as well because if you keep giving the ball back to people, their likelihood is they're going to have more attacks than you. And players might have been a bit nervous, but I don't believe I've got characters in there that are nervous. You know, I shouldn't have. Because they've all played at a decent level, most of them. So. It's basically getting the wins under your belt and getting that confidence growing again because that last 20 minutes, you know, we, we should have kept the ball and we didn't. We gave it back to them, made wrong decisions. It's not about fitness, it's about individual players making wrong decisions at, at key moments. And I feel that last 20 minutes we were very, very poor. Well, I can tell you in the stands, fingernails were in very short supply. It wouldn't surprise me, especially after the Billericay game, you know. Um, and if you're defending and keep defending, eventually something may give, and it proved it against Billericay. Um, but today, they stood firm, um, regardless of whether they were near misses by them, we've got three points, so the boys deserve a huge pat on the back to get, dig themselves out of the hole of 1-0 of down, and like I say, done very well. And some great football during that, that good spell when we got the, the, Barry the, said, the two goals, great yeah, football. Barry said to me, he said, today's probably been the best bit of football we've played mo all season, you know, we've actually kept the ball. But it's when you when you get in front, that's where you want people to stand up and be counted and keep the ball more. And it's just wrong decisions, you know, playing into areas where there's loads of bodies, where we didn't play with wide men. Our fullbacks were the wide players, and, and they worked well today. Um, but we didn't use them enough in the last 20 minutes. So um, the nervousness was there. It was for everyone to see. Shouldn't be. We don't put fear into them. We want them to play and enjoy it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's three points, and that's what I'm concerned about now. It was almost ironical when we equalised. I think, ah, oh, good, we've got plenty of time to get the winner. Then when we scored the game quite quickly, it's like, oh, God, we've still got another 20, 25 minutes to survive. Yeah, exactly. And like I say, um, decision for Bluey. Bluey didn't train on Thursday. He's had a sore knee when he came off um, against Billericay. So, say, to give him 25 minutes today would have been major. But he got longer because George was ill. He's been in bed all week. So was Jack Parter, but he got through 90. And then Tommy Whitnell come on, whose knee's still very sore, but he can only get through 20, 25 minutes. Um, so some great performances out there. Oh, huge. And that's what people don't realise. What, what goes on behind the scenes leading up to a game. You know, George and Jack didn't train on Thursday because they were real. You know, got out of their sick beds today to come and play. Um, Tommy Whitnell still not 100%. Luke Bluden wasn't 100%. Um, but they go and give you a good shift, and they do. And I'll give them a huge pat on the back, so I've stood here and not necessarily criticised them, but picked out individual things. But from, from 1 to 16, I thought today they deserved that. In terms of maybe not the, the chances, um, because I thought Met Police done very well and pushed right to the end, deserved it through the luck we haven't had over the last month or so. Definitely. Um, Andre, news of him? How far away might he be before he... We, we hope maybe another couple of weeks he might be in with us and then get him a reserve game or two. Um, he'd done a good running session with me before the game. Um, mm -hmm. He's a bit stiff now, but it's the first major thing he's done. So we're looking maybe, I'd say another three, four weeks maybe. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't want to rush him back in case anything happens again. Absolutely. But the thinking is that uh, the chances we are starting to create when, we, when we're on the front foot, um, someone like him in... We could start scoring goals. Could do, but I won't. Listen, Nathan's going through a little bit of a barren spell at the mm -hmm. minute. Um, Alex scored again today. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. we are scoring from the front. It's everywhere else. You know, I don't think we scored a set piece for a while. Mm. And I've got I've got good players in there with good deliveries, and, and we've got to start making them count because we do get an awful lot. You know, through our play, um, we make defenders defend, and they give us throws, they give us corners, and just not taking advantage of that. So, like I say, the forwards are doing okay. I'm not displeased with them. Um, I'm not displeased with anyone. But 
we need goals from all over. You know, Luke Allen's got a few from midfield, um, but we just need to start racking up a few goals, maybe from set pieces like we did early part of the season, and that complements the strikers, and it doesn't put us on the back foot in the last 15 minutes. Now we've got this strange game, you could say, I suppose, up at Needham Market. Difficult, one, difficult ones, easy. You know, this isn't like the early rounds where it almost, well, if you lose, you lose. But this is like a quarter final of the League Cup, so it starts to get a little bit important. Well, and yet the points, the league is absolutely vital. What sort of team are you going to put out without giving us the no, team so lineup? We have a strong team out because as a player, I'd rather play games than train. If I send the, the reserves up there with John and I have my players in, all they'll be doing is running anyway. So they'd want to play. Um, if we wasn't playing Needham, we'd be playing Haven. So are we that good that we pick and choose what sort of side we can put out against certain teams? No, we're not. You know, we're, <laughs> we're a squad of players. Sid, Sid will get a run out. Um, Cam Millen might come in. A couple of the other youngsters might come in. Um, but again, I've got to see how the, how the sick bodies are and how the injuries today are. I'll see that Monday, then I'll pick a squad and we'll go there with the intentions of winning the game. Um, because we'd have been playing Haven and Waterlooville anyway. So I'd have had to pick whether it's the players that are injured, I'd have had to bring people in to replace them. So I get your point, it's nitty gritty time so you can make yourself in a semi-final. Um, but if I didn't take the main squad and I just let John go and do it, I'd have the players here running, running their nuts off. Mm. So mm. It, for them to play a game, it's better for them to play a game than run, I'm sure, because I would, I would absolutely beast them and uh, they'd rather, rather get 90 minutes. But it's one of those. I don't think it's a catch-22. I think they've earned the right to be there. And some of the youngsters that have played have earned the right to, to, to come back into the squad. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's another game of football. And we need, we need to build on that and try and win. Um, it's a tough place to go, especially on a Tuesday night. Yeah. But like I say, we'll go there. We'll we're, we're give it a good go. And then we after that game, we go training. And then we prepare for Saturday. Definitely. Definitely. Just going back to today's game, I mean, it's in, obviously without Nicky Wheeler, there's no sort of recognised wide players. Mm -hmm. Interesting formation. How do you think that worked? We don't have folks in the League Cup earlier mm -hmm. in the season. Mm -hmm. um, not with that personnel. And I thought it worked. Um, we decided on Thursday to use our full-backs as being the wide players to cross, but even the narrow midfielders can put balls in the box. So, And we just thought with them four in there, technically, they're very, very good. And if they keep the ball, they can keep the ball away from... from any team, um, and I thought in the first half they showed showed their quality, um, but it was good. I, I was impressed with it. I liked it. You know, it's always a gamble, but they'd played that before, so they knew what they're doing. Um, we trained on Thursday, done eleven v eleven with some of the reserves and, and youngsters, um, so every player knew what their job was. And today, like I say, apart from the last fifteen minutes or so, where it was a little bit squeaky on time, I thought they they took took it to the letter of the law and, and done very well. So. Huge pat on the back for me tonight for them because they've had a rough deal, in my opinion. Others might disagree over the last month or so. And, and they deserve that little bit of luck. And uh, like I say, hopefully we can push on there. Definitely. Well done today, Steve. Thanks, Jim. Right. Cheers, man. After um, a bit of a nightmare Christmas for us, I bet that was yeah. very satisfying today. Yeah, it was um, good to get the three points. Uh, again, like we thought that the last few games, we've not been doing too bad. We've not been far off, but... We haven't been getting uh, the points on the board, and the main thing today was getting uh, the three points on the board. And uh, I mean, again, a lot, a lot of people would say that we was hanging on at the end, but you know, the, the three points is all that matters, and uh, we've got it. And hopefully, we can just really start to kick on and go on a little bit of a run from now. Hmm. So that's the main thing from now. Yeah. One person's hanging on is another good defensive performance, yeah. isn't it? And, yeah. and as a as a four, I suppose five year yeah. Parky and, and yeah. George, um, please with today. Yeah, it shows them. The, the solidarity in the team um, that we were just we wasn't willing to, to, to back down uh, we felt that, that that should have been really a 2 nil game I mean they, they got the, the lucky goal I guess uh, but yeah they went in front but we had to show the fight and the comeback to come back in the game and, and eventually knit the win and then uh, we just said no matter what anything that comes in that box we we basically put our bodies on the line for it and that's what I think we did and we showed that and we, we, we did that and we come up with three points and that's the main thing that counts to be honest with you yeah. back in the start of 11 for you today how yeah, do you feel yeah. you played today yeah you know obviously to, to be out the side you, you, as a player you want to play every game uh, and it was obviously disappointing to be out the side but uh, I guess you've got to trust in the gaffer as well and that's the whole point about being in a squad um, it's a squad thing and the gaffer said that he's going to need all of us um, so I just said when my opportunity comes I'll take it with both hands and 
and I'll just try to kick, uh, kick on and push and just do my best for the team to help us really kick on and try and get that promotion that we also we're, we're also hungry for and that we want. So yeah, just happy to be back in there to help the team. And a slightly different role for you because you didn't have a winger in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, how did yeah, that um, you? obviously being first game back in a few weeks, the first half was, I was loving it and then. As the game went on, obviously where I have been at the, uh, the team for a few weeks, the fitness started to tell just a little mm -hmm. bit and uh, I just had to pick and choose. I had to be a bit smarter with my runs forward, going forward. But um, I, I actually buzzed playing off that role because you get a lot of the ball, especially in the first half, I was getting a lot of the ball, a lot of joy and getting a few crosses in. A few of them in the second half, I was a bit disappointed with myself because I know I'm better than that at crossing the ball. But yeah, it was. I, I, I enjoyed the role a lot. Um, again, with a few matches and... Uh, a bit more fitness under my belt, I think uh, I would have I would have thrived with that role a bit more. Yeah, and that your man was yeah. um, probably their best player, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, winger, again, he? again, uh, obviously the first half where I was getting out a lot more, and then the fitness started to tell. He then pushed out wide, um, a fuller. Uh, he became an out and out winger, a winger in the second half, and then obviously where you're a bit tired, where I was a bit tired <laughs> as well, and then he's constantly running at you. It did become a bit tough, but um, yeah, again, again, the team just. We dug in and again, like you had Luke Bluden, Luke Allen coming and doubling up, and that just shows how will, how hard we were willing to work for each other today, just to make sure that we did get that three points, and we knew how important it was to get that three points. Tuesday That's trip up to um, the league market in the, in the league cup, yeah. um, which is a competition that obviously isn't important yeah. for the league, but for a place in the semi final, it's, an, it's, um, it's big, isn't it? A lot of people would say it's not as big as the league, but at the end of the day, as a player, you want to win things, uh, whether it's the Ryman Cup, whether it's the league or what. You want to win things, and uh, that's an opportunity to go into the semi-finals of a trophy uh, and do well. So we're going to go out there. I think the Gaffer's going to play a strong team, mm. and we're going to go out there and give it our best shot, and hopefully get ourselves over that semi-final line. Because I don't think we've been to the semi-finals under the, uh, under Steve yet. So we, we're, we're looking to push on and kick on, and hopefully try and get definitely get a trophy this year and push on. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Yeah.